What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin, a fast yeah, Hell yeah! Don't worry about what's on the screen right here. I know you can see it, but ignore that. Dude, how how is your day going, brother? Not bad, not bad. We're getting some snow here, but it's 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 Jersey, so it's not. They're like, oh, six inches, and we get a dusting. So you know how it is. For sure. I, I've only been to Jersey, I think, because of the Statue of Liberty, to be honest with you. But uh, Kev, do me a favor. Properly introduce yourself. Plug, promote anything you'd like, and uh, just let us know what's going on in your world before we dive in. All right, uh, my name's Kevin Core. I'm the owner and operator here uh, at Foster Grimm Records. Uh, I'm also two of the bands uh, uh, by myself at the moment. Um, got Eternal Forlorn, Nocturnal Terror. Uh, that one I think you guys are kind of familiar with. Um, and then I have my buddy Will, uh, Cranium Glitch, uh, under me as well. Um, at the moment right now... Um, because you, the last time I was on here, I had a little issue with uh, audio quality. It turned out my interface had uh, popped a capacitor on the one channel, and that was where some of the issues were coming from. So I'm just kind of reworking everything at the moment and getting everything to where I want it to sound, where it's actually going to be, you know, balanced equally instead of just like, oh, it sounds good on this, and then when you put power behind it, it's like, oh, what was that? So, so yeah. I got a new interface. Uh, remastered the whole new album that's coming out next week on the 23rd uh, so I'm looking forward to that because it's just a night and day difference from how it was uh, even with the last uh, video collaboration I did with uh, Mama's Maiden Studio which we have another one on the 26th of January it's Friday coming out at 9 Eastern time uh, following the album so that okay be cool track for that so oh, that would be cool Really quick, one of my bestest buds is my co-host today. That's my boy JB right there. Uh, JB, this is That's Kevin. Good, man. Uh, and I, I'll let him, I want him to ask some questions too. But really quick, how did you come up with the name Fossa Grimm? Like, what, what does that mean? And how did you come up with that name? Okay, so in Finnish folklore, uh, the Fossa Grimm is a water troll that will use uh, playing the fiddle to kind of lure people over to him. And you're like, oh, shit, that, where's this going? And then he's just like, oh, I just wanted to teach you how to play the fiddle. So being with, you know, what I try to do here with helping people and helping share everything I can, listen to everything I can, I just figured it was fitting to, because the whole point of this was to help people that, you know, needed a hand with certain things. So I just figured that was good because I like teaching people stuff. I like helping people with stuff. Um, and I'm mainly a guitarist uh, from the start, so I just thought it was fitting. Plus, it fits with the Norse mythology theme. And uh, is that part of is that part of your your heritage, like your where you're from originally, pre like your family pre Jersey? I know we're Germanic. I'm not exactly sure if it goes all the way up to Scandinavia. Uh, we have done some research. Uh, the farthest back we have found so far is traced like Bavaria in Germany. So. It's possible. Um, I just haven't dug back that far yet to know, but it is something I kind of feel like it. I don't know. It just feels like it's in my blood, um, and it's always kind of been something I've been fascinated with ever since I was younger. So I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a cool metal theme. Why not roll with it? You know. You kind of got the Norseman theme going on too, with the with the beard and the, the metal. I love it. I love it. Uh, JB, do you have some questions before I rattle off a whole bunch? Yeah, when it comes to um, all the bands that are assigned under, under your label, are you guys using uh, the same kind of like audio engineer? You said you mentioned that you had an interface that was going bad. Are you the person that does all the mixing, mastering, or? Well, for Eternal Forlorn and Nocturnal Terror, I am. Uh, I do everything here. Um, with Cranium Glitch, Will will do his own mixing and slight dynamics, and then I'll just take what he gives me and then put a little polish on it. So it's, I don't have to do too much with Cranium Glitch. 
uh, that's more like, you know, normalizing volume and stuff like that. Um, he usually gets the mix right where he wants. He spends a lot of time. I mean, a lot of, a lot of sleepless nights getting, you know, one song, just how he wants it to sound. He's, he's kind of OCD, um, as I can be at times too. So, so that one's not as bad when it comes to, you know, my own projects. I, I, I drive myself a little tiny bit insane doing everything, but it, it's fun, so it's worth it, you know? I think both me and JB can agree that, like, getting that perfect little mix, they're exactly how you want it, can can absolutely lead to those, lead to those like, 4 a.m. You're still up oh, just, yeah. like, fixing a snare or, or you know, whatever the case may be. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a damn and, snare. Yeah, and it won't even sound bad. It's just not what you want, so you have to fix it. <laughs> right, and he's like, so oh, annoying. well... You can either send it off. I've gotten it this far, and I can either figure it out, or I can pay someone three hundred dollars, and and then they'll they'll do it. But well, I'm that, I'm this close. I'm this close. Basically, yeah. When when it comes to the future, are you looking for more artists? How do you go about finding the art? I know you kind of like dabbled on it a minute ago, but how do you go about like finding more talent that that fits your criteria for your label? At, at the stage I'm at, I'm still kind of trying to figure that out myself um, as I'm going. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm sure, you know, if I continue to put stuff out there and, you know, you hear sound improve over time, that probably has something to do with it as far as, you know, having a catalog to go off of. But that's something I got to look into a little more as far as recruiting people. Um Cause it's hard when, you know, everyone could do this at the same time. So it, it, I, if, if someone's really struggling that I guess it would be a little easier of a chance, but you know, I, I got lucky with Will. He just kind of reached out and was like, Hey, I like what you're doing. I like your music. I like what it's about. Uh, I can use some hands with some things, you know, you want to work together. And I was like, yeah, let me, let me collect myself, figure out what's going on. Then we'll go from there. So I got lucky on that one. Uh, have you always lived in in Jersey, or did you did you move from somewhere else to where you reside now? Uh, we moved from somewhere outside. I have been here for about twenty one years now. Um, originally from New York, then Arizona, then Philly. So, you know, kind of all over the place, but not too crazy. Okay. Were you? Uh, we're not going to get there yet. But were you prepped on the trivia part of the show, where we ask our guests trivia and we involve hot sauce and all that fun stuff? Yes. Yes, okay, cool. okay, cool. Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, do you mind showing me the hot sauce you brought so I know how hot I need to go? I do not. Just it, okay, regular so old, regular, regular Chalua, got you. Yeah. JV, um, go yeah. ahead and rattle off another one. I'm going to grab a hot sauce. <clears throat> uh, for 2024, are there any um, goals that you can share with us uh, for your label? Um, when it comes to, you know, maybe performances or even just putting music out, uh, what is your guys' goal? Nice. Um, so with this year, what I have planned, I want, like I said, I, I getting everything that I have released sound right. I want to finish that. I have a couple of collaborations I want to do. Um, and I just want to get it to a point where it'll be, all right, I could just record something and, load some presets and then tweak where I have to tweak based on what I'm physically dealing with at the moment uh, to kind of make it to where I can put more stuff out easier for all, all the bands on the label. Um, what do, work. what dot do you currently use? Uh, I'm using Cubase. Okay, for sure. I've used um, Cubase a couple of times. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but I, and I want to do better with uh, marketing and, you know, getting stuff around, getting everybody's stuff around. And I definitely got to work on advertising a little bit better. So those are that and content. I got, I got to do content. I got to do like some guitar videos, some vocal videos, something like that. Um, but th those are about what I'm looking to focus on this upcoming year. Um, just kind of getting everything out there more and making it more consistent, you know? For sure. Let's talk more about you for a second. Uh, what what made you want to be, or who, artist-wise, 
Do you recall when you were younger and you were like, I want to do that. I want to be a musician. I want to record music. I want to just play music in general. Like, can you recall when you were, when you were yay high, this one or album or artist just, just floored you. And you said, I want to do that. You know, it wasn't really an artist that had done, cause I had been big into music, uh, since I was little, um, I had started when I lived in Philly, I had been doing choir for a church. Uh, it was connected to my school. I played various instruments for them, clarinet, piano, stuff like that. So it was something I was always doing and I knew I liked doing it and I had some talent with it. It, it was when I first saw a piano that really got me to where I was like, Oh, okay. And then when I found guitar uh, that just skyrocketed it, um so i guess i'd have to say if you want to connect a band to that green day because that was what i was listening to when i had started playing guitar stuff like that green you day stoked was, about the new album wait they have a new album coming out it's, so it's i think it drops in like thing. three or four days i think oh wow no i did not know about that at all i'll have to check that out I, I, it's horrible for a label i'm so out of a fucking loop on everything <laughs> oh no worries i uh they're actually on tour or about to go on tour i have a ticket uh green day is headlining and it's a dookie slash american idiot like anniversary it's like a double anniversary so they're playing a lot of songs of both of what? those plus oh, new shit. stuff uh smashing pumpkins rancid and the linda lindas so i like all four of those bands so i'm totally shit. in i'm totally yeah, in. i had no idea about that that's pretty fucking cool damn if you were to pick a trivia topic because you get to pick it is there a movie? I need a minute to look it up on the side over here. So, JB, I'm going to send it back to you in a second. But uh, what movie or TV show, Kev, have you seen more than anything? Or if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, there's just no way I could stop you. Because if, if I do, you're taking a swig of hot sauce. Whether you get it right or wrong, I'm going to do the hot sauce regardless. Well, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of shots of hot sauce regardless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'd say Rick and Morty would probably be my best bet if I had to choose. Um, again, what are your, what are your thoughts on the new the new voices, by the way? I mean, it's still the show, so I don't know what everyone's getting worked up. I mean, the guy did a piece of shit thing. The guy... What do you what do you expect? You can't. Oh, well, you can't do that. It is what it is. Like you just let them keep going. Like uh, no, because yeah, network, all that. They would just pay the price for him. It's not worth it when you can replace him. It's true. The, they did the best they could to make it accurate. But JB, I need to I need to yeah. stall for a second. Uh, go ahead and shoot one more out real quick. <clears throat> so when it comes to you, the audio engineering that you do, um, were you taught by anybody or is it all self taught? No, I, I was all self-taught. I started in, like, the end of 2020, right at the end of, like, when everything started to lift up from the pandemic a little bit. Gotcha. Because um, I'd gotten the idea during the pandemic, and I'm like, well, if everything's just going to be online-based anyway, you know, how hard is it going to be to be a one-man show? So, um, <laughs> Makes I, sense. I, just, no, I spent the last three years, you know, you, you make mistakes, and you're like, oh, don't do that, okay, and then you change it, and then you're like, yeah, that's why you don't do that. So that's just kind of what I've been doing for the last last few years. I'm just trying to grow where I can, you know. Fair, yeah. Well, let's see if we can get this hot sauce party started. Here we go. In Rick and Morty, season two, episode four is called Corn. is called Total Rick Call. The Smith family home is invaded by mind parasites. Jerry has a memory of him, of having a holiday with what character that involves a romance? I believe his name is Sleepy Gary. Mother that is correct! Yeah, hell yeah! Damn Jerry! it! That is correct! Sleepy Gary and Jerry. You did not have to do the hot sauce. Cheers. I'll do shots of beer when I when I get them right, I guess. <laughs> I got a uh, a stout flavored hot sauce right there. That was a bunch of it. Ooh. It's pretty yummy though, but it's it's got a little ting, but it's not too bad. Um, dude, let, let's say 
let's say all the bands on your label are playing a gig somewhere. And uh, like all of them in a row. Three, three, I, you have three on, uh, currently on the roster, right? Yeah. Let's say all three of them are playing a gig. The show goes fantastic. I always like to ask my guests, what is the go-to munchy meal? All the bands are celebrating. We sold a lot of merch. Money was made. Are we all meeting up somewhere and grubbing in Jersey? Where are we eating at? What are you ordering? If we're doing that around here, we're going to Philly and we're getting cheesesteaks. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's she... nothing in Jersey that would be open at that time. Anyway. Is, is it a far there. drive from Jersey to Philly or? Nah, not for me. I'm like 10 minutes away from the bridge, so it's probably like 20, 25 minutes total. It's and which which of the two? I've never been to Philly, and I know there's like two that battle each other. Which of the two do you prefer? Uh, Gino's is a little bit better, honestly. That's the one with the cheese? Yeah, with the cheese whiz, yeah. Oh, man, I I'm, I need that. I need that in my life. They are, they are good, especially when <laughs> I don't know about that it's cheese like whiz, bro. It's like a cheese spread. It's not like canned cheese whiz. It's like a spread, but... I don't okay, know. They okay, say okay. these are like the two best Philly cheese. Like if you go there, you got to get one from each and like pick whatever you prefer. Yeah, pick which one you like better. I'm doing that too if I ever go there. But oh, um, that'd be amazing. Do you have any, Kev? Do you have any like things that freak you out? Like phobias? You're scared of heights. You're scared of spiders. Do you have anything that just freaks you out? Heights is definitely one of them. Claustrophobic. Yeah, claustrophobic too. I uh, don't like being tight spaces or closed in somewhere where I can't just get it. It just freaks me out. I don't like not having control over the situation. <laughs> Same thing with heights. I'm I'm oddly anti-claustrophobic. I prefer closed spaces, which is really weird to people sometimes. Like when I sleep, I almost always have a pillow like on top of my head so I can only see like this much. I like the being in the enclosed space, which is strange. But I, yeah, I, I, I am afraid of heights. That makes sense. I don't know. I am afraid of heights, though. JB, what freaks you out? Women. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Um, I, <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. Fucking bees and wasps <laughs> scare the shit out of me. Are you allergic? I, I can deal with. I can deal with spiders. I can deal with whatever. But when it comes to bees and wasps, it scares the shit out of me. Are you allergic to bees? Um, I had one reaction when I was little, but it was an acute reaction, and I, it's freaked me out ever since. Yeah, so no bees around, JB. <laughs> no. But I can handle spiders, I can handle snakes, I can handle all that shit, but like when it comes to bees, you know, wasps and women, I, I can't understand that. Kevin, I'm going to try this one more time, bro, because I got to stump you. I don't know if this is harder or easier. It uh, the, Normally, the website I have has, like, uh, these are easy, mediums, and hards, and it's not telling me for Rick and Morty, but let's just try it. In Season 2, Episode 9, the episode is called Look Who's Purging Now. Rick and Morty land on a planet where one of the locals informs them, hey, this one night a year, you can basically murder everyone. What is the name of that event? Oh, um. It's obviously not called the Purge because they'd be stealing that from the movie, but it's just, it has a somewhat similar title, kind the of. The cleansing. That is incorrect. Enjoy the hot sauce. Ah, the, the answer is surge. the the festival. Just called the festival, and that's when they can murder everybody. Blah blah blah. Um, if if you could, let's say hypothetically, sign any any band around the world to Fossa Grimm, who would it be and why? Like, let's just say this this particular huge band wants to sign with a small indie label just for a small, not necessarily indie music, but you know what I mean. Uh, just just because they want to do something different and they they have reached out to you. What is the name of this band and why them? I'm going to do the hot sauce first because i got to think about that one. Oof. I put a dent in this bad boy. <laughs> That's not bad. I wish that was a little hotter though. Um, hmm. Next time, we'll bring the extra hot ones. So any any band, big or small or anything. Hmm. 
it could be a, your favorite band. It could be a band that. Um, I would say, and this is a long shot because this would be bringing some shit back together that I, I don't know if that would work, but Cybreed. Why Cybreed? And, and, and just their sound is, is just fucking amazing. Like, the guitars, the way they tune, the, the way they fill everything is just, it's great. Uh, the vocals are amazing. Uh, the switching from growling to singing, the way he does is great. Um, it's simplistic, but at the same time, you could tell there's like technical skill behind it. So it's like, you know, one of those situations where a little bit goes a long way kind of thing. And I always kind of like that about them. Do you ever find yourself like listening to like a, a brand new release in the metal world and just picking up the guitar and trying to figure out how to do that riff or that particular solo or something? Or is that something that you, you do in your spare time? Yeah, no, I, I do like to, um, you know, figure stuff out by ear, especially if it's something I really like and it really catches my attention. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I won't go sit down and look at tabs unless I'm doing a cover or something. Um, I do try, and even then I'll try to figure it out by ear first. So yeah, that, that's definitely something that happens often. I'll hear something just randomly and be like, huh, how do you do that? Oh shit, that's cool. So we got time for a couple more on your right shoulder. You are over your right shoulder. You have a shelf with look like some collectibles or something. What, what's on that shelf right there? Oh, I got a couple of bongs, some fucking bubblers, you know, all the good Smoke shit. Smoke weed. Yeah. 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 That's it. I saw it. I just want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you are you uh, sativa indica hybrid? What what do you prefer? Okay, so I I'm a split on this. So during the day, I prefer a sativa so I could still function and get stuff done, not lose my motivation physically. And then when I'm ready for bed, I, it's definitely indica all the way. I can agree with that. Uh, I'm I'm a kind of don't really care what I smoke, but I if I had to pick, I would prefer it be sativa during the day and like you said, indicas at night. Uh, JB, one one final question for Kev, and then I'll wrap it up with one final one, and, and we appreciate your time, sir. We're going to put this yeah. on YouTube tomorrow, if that's okay, tag in some stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Right on. So my last question is, if you had uh, a situation where you're like, oh, shit, this is my last day, what is one message that you want to leave the world when it comes to your music? That's a deep one. That is a deep one. So you're saying like last day existing is what you're saying. But he, right? he like he just found out today is his last yeah. day. Yes, exactly. Okay. It wouldn't even. I mean, it wouldn't even be directly related to mine. It would just be do, do it. Just do it. Do it if it makes you happy. If you feel like you have to do it. If it helps you through some shit in a positive way instead of you know letting it bring you down. You know, just get it out, do it. If you got to record it, put it out there, publish it, and you want to, do it. Don't don't let things hold you back. Like you know, fears of like, what oh, what are people going to think? And just, who cares? Not everyone's going to like it. Not everyone's going to hate it. So who cares? Just do it. I like amazing. That. I like that mentality Cheers. right there. As of course, if it's your last day, you got to just be like upload all the la all the demos that never made it, just in case. Like, do -do 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 -do. I was waiting for someone to do that so I could do it. Oh, if you guys are partying, let me get down real quick. I don't want to be, you know, the only guy not getting down. Give me one time real quick here. You know how I do. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you taking the time and opening up a little bit to us, brother. Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on here. <laughs> uh, my final two questions for you, Kev, is this is two-part. What makes you happier than anything in the entire world? Beyond family, beyond, you know, you hit a scratcher that was $15,000. Beyond beyond those things. So what just makes you happy? <laughs> and number two, do you have, it kind of rolls off what JB said, but, but do you have any advice for a band that's just starting tonight in a garage somewhere else in the world locally? Maybe there was a mistake you made at some point in, in your career that you don't want this band to make. Shit. All right. What was that first part of the question again? Sorry, what what makes like you happier than anything in the world? What makes you happier okay. than anything in the world? With that, it's just music. It's 
the one thing where you, or at least for me, I feel like I have control. Like, so say my moods go a certain way, throw something on, bam, changes. Just like that, you know? Um, so just music, you know, just cruising around, probably the best two mind clearing things for me. Um, that usually make me bounce back. So I would say that as far as the second question, uh, so maybe there was a mistake, like, like you spent money in a way that shouldn't have been spent or I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, but uh, just, just no, you're good. advice. No, refreshing the mind. Yeah, I got you. I, I have that problem sometimes. <laughs> um, no, for that, I, I would say like drop your egos. Don't don't let your ego get in the way. Don't use it to make shitty decisions. Don't let it get in the way of what's better for everybody beneficially at the end of the day. And don't let stupid shit get in the way. Like little difference. They like, just work through the shit. It's not because you never know, you know. Um, yeah and just try to prioritize accordingly but you got to you got to trust everybody you got to make sure you're on the same team and don't don't get into the politics of like you know where you start picking each other apart and fighting each other cuz it's not it just falls apart from there it's not worth it you got to keep it about the music you got to keep it about the family okay. about the music yeah. you got to stay hungry hungry and humble Hung, hungry <laughs> that works. Yeah, yeah it does work. One hundred percent. You're right, though. Yeah, because once once anyone starts thinking they're bigger than anyone, it just goes to shit immediately. We had I don't remember who it was, but we had somebody a long time ago that said if you start a band, even if it's a local band, write a contract right away well, I mean, and think... and and have everyone sign the contract and and say, uh, like if there's five members in the band, just immediately just make a dummy contract that says we all get 20% because eventually if money comes along, people will start fighting. And if that was done before you're nobody and then the money comes in, I always thought that was really cool advice that somebody, but that's just so unrealistic. Like, I don't know any bands that do that, but it just makes no, sense. It is. it is on both, both aspects. It is unrealistic, but at the same time, it is extremely smart because then it takes all the bullshit out of it because you can't argue about anything if it's already laid out and you already all agreed to it so right and everybody's equal yeah. well well kev i'm glad i was able to stump you at least once on the rick and morty trivia and i wasn't able to get the other one yeah. but damn it but uh dude this is this is fun man i appreciate you i'm gonna make sure this is on youtube tomorrow morning we'll we'll send you the link when it's ready late it'll probably be okay. hours from now when it's ready but it'll probably drop at six or seven a.m pacific 10 9 or 10 eastern um but yeah dude thank you for your time we really appreciate it yeah no problem Thanks thank you brother me. i appreciate it guys kevin of fossil grim yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go thanks brother